Hey guys, at BV Matson here, and today it's time to deal with our timing advance mechanism. This thing is really, really important, and I want you to get a good look at what's going on here. Um, there is a chance that you can assemble this thing 180 degrees off. <laughs> so paying attention to your different marks and everything on this piece is going to be really important. Now, I, I, I took this off the bike a long time ago, and I never really inspected it. But now here I am, and I'm looking at it, and I'm trying to get this thing to come apart so I can clean it. But check this out, man. This thing doesn't budge. This thing is <laughs> locked in place. Now, you guys remember I picked up that 1971 CL350. I went over to that motor, one of the motors that I got with that purchase, and I got the timing advance mechanism out of that. And you can see on this that when you turn it, these little arms kind of open up. I don't know, God, how can I show you this? But see how it like moves? This thing moves when you when you twist and turn on it. And when I look at the one that came out of this, this one, this thing is seized up. I actually let this thing sit all night uh, in PB Blaster, all right, uh, or a Deep Creep. And uh, yeah, no bueno, man. This thing is not moving. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put that one aside. And I'm actually just going to take the, the advancer from one of these other engines. I did look. I did a side-by-side -side comparison of these two parts. And they do look identical. They have the same 286 marking. The arrows are going in the same way. I've got my index marks. They're both pointed in the same direction. So I think I'm just going to clean up this other one because this one, this bad boy is seized up. Um, I've never seen anything quite like that. So this is going to take some work. So on this one, I can actually get this one apart pretty easily because to start pulling it apart, there's a few components. There's two pins. There's a pin here and a pin over here. There's a little locker on here that we can knock out. There's two springs, and then there's this center piece that twists out. Now, I think if I remember right, again, I haven't done this in a long time. Um, I should be able to just rotate this. So I'm pulling it with my fingers like this. And I should be able to twist this part out of this, if I remember right. Yep, there. See, it just pulled straight out. Just rocked it out just a little bit, just like that. And again, there's my index mark, okay? Okay. So, boy, look how, look how filthy, 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 filthy this piece is. That is not good. Um, next step, let's just kind of keep tearing this. So this is all going to have to get clean. This part, uh, honestly, it needs to be pretty pristine uh, in order to operate. It's got to be free movement. So next thing we can do is a, a jeweler screwdriver works very well to get one of these keepers out. So here's one of the keepers right here. Um, there's an open end on the keeper right there. Um, if you just go to the opposite side of it, there are little gaps. And I found a jeweler screwdriver kind of pokes right in there. And you can pop these out just like that. See how that kind of popped out, slid out? So then I can pull this little keeper out. So I'll put the keeper there, okay? There's also gonna be a small little washer, really small, easy to miss. But there's a little washer under here and the jeweler screwdriver. You can just pull that one out. And that's a ooh, dinky, dinky little bugger right there. All right. Then the same thing on the other post. You're just going to come around. Look for the little gap. There's going to be a really little gap in here. And you should be able to just kind of get under it. Give it a tug. And it should pop out of there. Come on. Don't make me a liar. Oh, yeah, it fell out. I heard it hit the table. <laughs> I'll find it. And there's that other little, little itsy bitsy little washer right there. Don't want to lose that as well. So where the hell did it go? Where the hell did that little clip go? Okay, so once we've got that out, then there's just, uh, you can pull these out. Uh, the next thing that you want to do, though, just go and look at your springs. The one that's facing down, there's a little curl on it. There's actually a little bit of room there to get your jeweler screwdriver underneath that. And what you want to do is you want to unhook your spring. Just give it a pull up. And there you go. There's your spring. Pull the spring off. Throw that spring over there just like that. 
Same thing on the other side, just flip it over, look for the one that's pointing down. That one will have a little gap on it. And be careful not to overstretch the springs. They're pretty uh, sensitive little part, um, but there's my other spring right there. And now these little arms should lift right off. There, just like that. Yeah, this thing needs to be cleaned up uh, extremely a lot, actually. A lot, a lot, a lot. So get this right here. There is the other one. And again, look at that, just rusty. This all has to be perfectly, perfectly, perfectly clean. So I've got some cleaning to do on this bad boy. Also looking at these two posts, there's another small little washer on the bottom post right here. Okay, take that off. Looks to be the same as the other one that we just took off. Then go over here, grab this other one. Let's pull that off, just like this. Boom, there it is. So these are the two parts that, uh, or the three parts, four parts, <laughs> and all those little washers that we need to get super, super, super clean. And upon a little further inspection, there's one more on here as well. There's a small little spacer down in here, just like that, that I can pull off of here as well. So we can pull this one off as well. See that? So that's down there as well. So here's like a little spacer right there. Well, no shit, there's two spacers right here. Okay, what is going on here? Because I do not recall that being a thing on this part at all. But anyway, off to cleaning. I'm gonna use WD-40, I'm gonna use Deep Creep, I'm gonna use, you know, brass brushes. We don't wanna scratch up any of these surfaces. These are all moving surfaces. Um, we're gonna have to get inside here very well, clean all of this. In fact, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna give this thing a nice soak. I think that might be my ticket. All right, time to just start. Cleaning parts, man. That's it. I'm going to use a little bit of deep creep. And then I've got just a brass brush. And it's going to start going to town on this, man. I mean, there is nothing, uh, you know, too deep <laughs> happening here. I'm um, just going to try and clean this part as good as I possibly can. And honestly, guys, take your time. Be really diligent with the cleaning on this part. This part is absolutely key. All right, guys, yeah, these parts are, are proven to be pretty damn rusty. And again, I don't want to miss any nooks and crannies. There's a lot going on here. And I also want to get all the little washers and stuff all squared away. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump the brake tonight. And it also give me an opportunity to let this other one soak to see if I can actually get it apart. Um, I'm going to go ahead, get the old evapo rust out. I'm just going to let them sit in Evaporust. Evaporust is going to be good for this stuff, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my springs, because my springs are rusty. I'm going to drop those in Evaporust. Take my two spacers, okay? Drop my two spacers in. I'm going to grab my lockers and my four little washers that are super rusty as well. I'm going to drop those in. Just like that. And then, let's see, let's drop an advancer in. Let's drop these other parts of the advancer in. Just like that. Let's top this bad boy off. Put a lid on it. And uh, we're gonna come back to this tomorrow and see how these do. Let's just get them all nice and de-rusted. Evapo rust is gonna get there, guys. So, um, yeah, just a lot of little uh, kind of delays in the process. Again, I don't want to screw this up. So I'm going to be really diligent about cleaning this advancer. So till tomorrow, guys. All right, guys, we are back. It is the next day. I don't know. What is it? Probably about 20 hours later. And we're back to get our parts out of the evapo rust. And let's see what we got here. All right. Take my lid. Pull this apart. Ooh, minty. Look at that. That looks absolutely beautiful. I'll be able to clean that up just a little bit more. Let's dig in. There's another one. Absolute, this evapo rust, I'm telling you guys, this is the ticket. 
absolutely love this stuff. It is amazing. Here's my other, oh, there's my other advancer right here. Let's see if Evaporust actually freed this up. No, Evaporust didn't touch this. So this bad boy is still 100% seized up, but look at how clean it is. Look at how clean it is. There's just gonna be a ton of rust inside of here. So set that bad boy aside. And then down inside here, I should just have a few other little parts. I should actually dump out a little bit of my Evaporust. Give me one second. So I can see what's going on. And let's dig some stuff out of here. There's our other control arm. Again, not a lick of rust on it. This is vapor rust. <laughs> I'm so glad I found this stuff because the stuff is freaking amazing. A quick wipe with the finger and that rust is gone. What else we got? Okay, here's our two shims. Here's one of our springs. Boom, boom. Then I should have another spring and a bunch of those little washers, which I'm going to have to deal with here. Here, look at this spring. The spring looks damn near brand new now coming out of there, which is awesome. Dump out a little bit more of my evapor rust. I'm gonna be real careful though, not to dump any of my washers in, into what's going on here. And there I can see them down in the bottom. So let's grab these bad boys. There should be four of them. There's one locker. There's one washer. Where the hell to go? There you go, it's on my finger. Get off of there. Come on, we gotta get you back together. You don't want to come off. All right, there should be two more little washers in here. Get these out of here. It's like that. And these washers look absolutely brand new as well. Should be one more. And then one more locker. There it is. One more of those. One more of those. Boom. One thing that you do want to remember is that uh, you do want to rinse off all of your parts that have been in evaporust. Uh, you want to get them on some water. And uh, just make sure that you rinse off any of that evapor rust. All right. So I'm just going to give these a quick little bath. And I'm going to take them out. And I'm going to dry them up really, 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 really good. And then we'll be good to go. Just don't don't forget because, like, if that evapor rust kind of dries on a surface, it gets a little bit tacky. All right. It gets a little tacky. And uh, you don't want that on your advancer unit. All right, all my parts are dry and I am kind of ready to go. So kind of just for reference, Mark, just note this arrow down on the bottom side and this little mark. This little mark is going to be important. Um, we want to make sure that this index mark on the end, I don't know if you can see that, but there is a little index mark on the end of this. And that needs to be pointing down towards that arrow when we get to that point. Ooh, that feels nice and minty. All right, we got all the parts cleaned up and we are ready to reassemble this advancer, okay? So, uh, you know, let's uh, take it one step at a time. And the first and most important thing is get your lube ready. I've got white lithium grease. And I'm gonna go ahead and just spray down all the different points of contact or maybe just the whole damn plate because this stuff's really messy. I'll wipe it all off later. Extra lubrication ain't gonna hurt you at all in this situation. So again, look for that arrow, okay? Arrow on the bottom and that notch on the bottom. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna just slide on your different contacts, all right? So they pop on there just like that. Just don't forget the tiny, tiny, tiny little washer. Okay, there's a little washer that goes on there. I'm gonna take that, oops. And then drop this one on here, just like that. And I'm gonna grab one of my little washers. I'm gonna drop it on the post, just like that. I'm gonna grab this and drop it on there, just like that, okay? That's the first part. Then you grab your washer for the top. Washer goes on the top. And back over here, another washer goes, oh, come on, buddy, go home. Come on, we're not messing around today. All right, so you got both your washers in place. And actually, I probably should have put these <laughs> in place first. So I'm just gonna lift these off. All right. Got that off, I had to get that washer out of there. But anyway, don't forget to put your spacers in. Okay, so this one had two spacers, so I'm gonna go ahead and put those in. And I'll just move a little bit of lithium grease over on the top of those. So now we're good. Double check, make sure that you've got both of your washers in place. Arrow down, and now we can drop 
our arms in there, guys. Getting a little ahead of myself on that one. And then, da 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 da, da. Which way does this go again? Oh, yeah, it goes just like that. Just like that. Boop, boop, boop. I'm gonna swing around just like that. Now we're gonna take our washers, our little, our other washer, drop those onto the top of these posts. Just like that. All right, and then we can go and find our tiny, tiny, tiny little lockers and we can push those into place. They should go on pretty easy. Slide that one on and we'll slide. Try, hopefully it doesn't go shooting across the darn room. Be careful, they are a little springy. Oh, grab my little jeweler screwdriver, maybe give this thing a little push. But again, be careful. You don't want that thing shooting off across the room. Oh, come on, there, yep, I think, nope, nope. It flew all the way across my, my, my table. So you gotta be careful with that. Make sure you're in the groove. Should be in the groove, it should go. What's going on here? Should go, it's looking good. Got my finger on it. There we go. Bam. There. Now those two posts are back in position, which is great. And now we can move back to our springs. Remember the round end. You have a round end on your spring, and you've got kind of an open end on your spring. Your round end is going to go around the post. Okay? So that post goes right... Oh, man. Sorry for the camera angles. Bam. Round post goes down right on there. It's just push it down. <laughs> In theory, it should just drop right on there. Let's try this one. Bam. There we go. Oh, make sure it's going down. I also noticed that when I took it apart, make sure that your angle is going down. So I'm going to go like this, drop that bad boy on there. Make sure your spring's pointing down on the open end and push that down onto the post here. Just like that. And then we gotta hook these up, man. These are some tiny, tiny, tiny little parts that I'm trying to show you today. So I'm just gonna take my little jeweler screwdriver, grab the end here, give her a little tug. These aren't like super tensiony springs. There, and just move that into position. These Both these springs look like they're in great, great shape. I'm gonna grab this one. Oh, come on, buddy. And drop that in now it should have a little bit of free, should just move super free, okay? So before I go to the next step, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab just a little Q-tip, spray my Q-tip down with some lithium grease, and I'm gonna hit these surfaces on the top. Just make sure that this is nice and lubed, because that's gonna be moving around a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. All right, next spot. Now we need to lube the shaft of this thing. So I'm gonna grab my lithium grease and I'm gonna just lube up the shaft inside and outside, all right? There is a little groove on, let's see, which side is it? On this thing. And there is an oil groove inside here. And I believe there was one on the inside here as well. I've covered it with grease, but anyway, just lube everything up very, very, very well. Boop, boop, just like that. Now we can take this. Now this is where you gotta look at this arrow. So here's our arrow, see it? Here's the arrow, it's pointing to the right. And what we wanna do is we wanna go ahead and look at our index mark. Our index mark is right here. I'm actually gonna grab just a little bit of lube. I'm gonna do the inside of this. Yeah, lube it up. Also lube up these little, I don't know what the hell they are, little connectors or whatever, but we're gonna lube those up really good as well. Can't hurt, lube it up, all right? More lube, the better, as far as I'm concerned on this part. And then we're gonna clean it off and we're gonna look for our index mark. Where's our index mark? Here's our index mark. Yep, so I got it down and that index mark is actually gonna point kind of down into the left. So we're gonna push this on and ideally what you wanna do is it should pull it apart and this piece should slide into position. So let me just give this a little twist there. It fell right together, just like that. And there's my index mark pointing down. Now if I turn this, see how we got some action here? God, this is so hard to film, guys. 
See how it moves? It like opens. You can kind of see it there. There, man, that's nice smooth operation. Um, next, I'm just gonna start wiping off any kind of excess oil or uh, lithium grease that I have. And honestly, guys, I feel like this thing is ready for service now. Um, really a bummer I can't put the original one back in it. Um, it would have been nice to do that, but no bueno, that ain't gonna happen. Um, but this essentially is ready to go back on the bike. I got really nice smooth action out of this. Um, this is awesome. Let me, uh, I, I, yeah, you guys can see that, right? Toot, 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 just like that. Yeah, that's your, that's your advancer, all right? This is ready to go back on the bike, and when it goes back on the bike, arrow is going to be pointing to the left or to the right, and here's your notch. This is what you want to be paying attention to on the back side of it. See this little hole, this little slot? That's going to align with your cam. All right, so uh, there you have it. That is kind of disassembly, cleaning, and uh, lubing, and reassembly of your advancer unit. This thing causes people a lot of trouble. So uh, pay attention to this. Do not skip this step of going in here and cleaning this part. Imagine if I would have done all this work and just thrown this thing in here and not checked on it, I'd have been totally freaking screwed. All right, this one's junk. I gotta clean that one up, but I got a fully operational one right here. Guys, I hope that video is useful. This is a big turning point because there's nothing really standing in my way to get the ignition in the bike. I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If so, please subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up those videos that you enjoy. Also, if you'd like to support the channel, be sure to check out some of the links in the descriptions. Um, you know, anything, the small little things. I'm just linking to them so you can buy them. And uh, anything you purchase from those links helps keep this project going. So, guys, thanks so much. And I'll see you in the next video. We're getting real close.